Wisdom shouts and cries out, how long, how long, O naive ones, will you continue to be so easily misled? Why do you love being simple-minded and undiscerning? How much longer will you ridicule, deride and delight in scoffing at the Lord's wisdom? How long will it take for you to see the truth? Why do you continue to be such a fool by mocking truth and hating true knowledge? Will you please turn and pay attention to wisdom's rebuke? For if you listen to the cry, then surely God will pour out his spirit upon you. He'll make his glorious words of life known to you. For so long now, Lord God has been calling, but you refuse to answer. He has stretched out his wonderful hand of grace and mercy, yet no one has paid attention to his offer. Instead, you treated all of God's counsel as worthless words and would not accept his reprimand. He's left laughing at your disaster, mocking you when dread and panic comes. For dread and panic come like a storm, disaster like a whirlwind. Then anxiety and distress come upon you as retribution. As all you've built comes crashing down, you may then cry out and call upon wisdom, but wisdom will not answer you. You will seek God's counsel eagerly, but you will not find it. Why? Well, because you hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. That is, you refuse to obey him with reverence and all filled respect. Because you would not accept God's counsel and you spurned his rebuke. Therefore you shall eat of the fruit of your own wicked ways and be rewarded with the penalty of your own devices. Because of your careless ease of self-righteousness, you fools have destroyed yourselves. But whoever listens to the Lord's wisdom will live securely. So there is time. Repent and call upon the name of Jesus. Ask to be saved. Then you will live in confident trust, at ease, without fear of dread or evil. All who reverently fear the Lord and worship him with awe hate every form of evil. Godly wisdom reveals pompous pride and perverse speech, for these are the very ways of wickedness that God hates. Fear of the Lord is a life-giving fountain. When you worship God in wonder and awe, you have access to a fountain of life within you. This empowers you to escape death's domain. So please pay, pay close attention to God's instructions. Be wise and never again ignore or neglect it. For those who listen to wisdom are truly blessed, prosperous and to be admired. Watch daily for God's directions and wait patiently at every stage of life. Forever finds wisdom, finds life and obtains favour and grace from the Lord God Almighty. There is a shifting and a shaking. God is once again taking over our great nation. There is a deep crying and loud weeping. Jesus is once again flooding hearts with repentance. There is a great praising and rejoicing. The Holy Spirit is once again releasing amazing grace and jubilation. Build your kingdom here. Let the darkness fear. Show your mighty hand. Heal our streets and land. Set your church on fire. Win this nation back, change the atmosphere, build your kingdom here, we pray. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again, increase in us we pray, unveil why we may. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope like wine.